what's up loop troop it's your boy loopy fist back up in this thing with another deck for you now this is a deck that i've done before i believe i put it on stream maybe not no no but this is a deck i like to call city smog basically it's a wheezing deck with Meltan, but the reason I wanted to revisit it is because I also got these two beautiful, fantastic, flavorful, delicious, full art Kogas. I've been trying to get all the full art trainers and I was happy I got a double up on one of them. It's pretty cool. It's the only one I got a double up on. You know, I wouldn't mind getting one on like Sabrina or Giovanni, but this is nice too. I love the deep purple. It looks really nice, really, really celestial. Like, I don't know what he's doing. And he got the Naruto arm flapping behind his arm. Like it's like it's broken. Like, he, you know, he's, you know what he's on right now. Uh, you know, mm, you know, I like, I like it. It's really, it got lots of flavor. I love it. So I want to drop it up in here. It's a typical deck, though, you know. We got two Pokeballs, two Professor Researches, two XPs, two Potions. We got to try to keep Mel Metal alive because it does take three energy to get this son of a bitch going. Uh, basically, with this deck, you want to get Mel Metal. I mean, you want to get Meltan up first, and you want to go second so that you can actually, you know, go ahead and do an amass. If you do that, you have kind of just about one. If you go first, that's not what you want to do. You don't want that. If you do go first, you want to hope that you got Meltan and Mel Metal so you can drop them both out and you can just start dumping stuff on them. But the cool thing, and people don't talk about this, or they'll, they'll play it, but they don't understand the whole reason why. If you use a Weezing and Coughing with Koga and you get the whole combo, that is four times you can play Weezing, right? Four times if you don't die. That is a hundred and that's 440 HP points of health. That's 480 if you have two potions on them too, super broken, super good. I think Weezing is probably an S tier card just because of that. So if you if you really learn how to like bounce out with the uh, Kogas very well, then you'll be like on the right track. And you can even make it more if you start to put extra energy on the last coughing. And so when you go into the Weezing, you can back that one up before it dies too. It's crazy. It's a super good, super fantastic. Um, little threat package that you got going on in this deck and that's why i really enjoy this deck so hopefully you guys can try it out too and it works out really good for you but i'm gonna get to some gameplay as always if you like the video please like subscribe maybe leave a comment if you didn't notice i respond to most of my comments unless some of you guys are telling me how to play the game even though i do respond to those two most of the time but I'd be embarrassed. Anyways, I appreciate y'all, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace. Oh, shit. I forgot to get the take the, the darkness out. I'm probably going to leave this game, too. Because UT just straight up copy someone else's alternate. Yeah. I think he's a good character for if you, um, they just won't. They never give it to us. Like when we when we finally do get like they just keep giving us darkness energy first. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna take the energy out and then I'm gonna play some more. I'm not gonna lie, this week for gaming has been huge. With the surprisingly the Indiana Jones game looks pretty good. I already have it downloaded, but I can't play it until I um I gotta um wait because early access right now and I'm not buying it. I got it on um, Game Pass, so um, yeah. But that came out. Path of Exile Two Early Access came out, um, and also Marvel Rivals. It's a lot. What's the point of Weezing if no Dark Energy? Weezing's ability is really strong, and he has a lot of health. That's the reason why. So you really just want to like cycle in the wheezings with Koga. That's all you got to do. I need a Meltan. Can I get a Meltan, please? Not even a Pokeball, huh? We don't need it right now. We got a professor. We got another professor. So yeah, we'll see what we get. What's he about to do? Is he gonna put in a 
Honestly, it probably would have been smart for him to do the Pokeball before you put the energy out. Is he going to use that energy? Nope, he's going to keep hold of it. Nope. Pokeball first, then out the deck. Get a Mel Metal, I mean Meltan, and now we're going to go for a Professor Research. Okay. Okay. We'll do this one first. Make sure we use gas leak. Cause you can still deal 10 damage with wheezing and every single turn it's just it's a great staller. So it's all it's all you need. What type of game Indiana Jones? Um I don't know. <laughs> it's a it's a game with Indiana Jones in it. It's it's, it's kinda like just a story game with Indiana Jones in it. I don't really have a way to explain it. Okay. We need to get this thing down to where we can deal enough damage to kill it. He's probably going to go on a Charizard now. We just got to get, he's not going to be able to kill us this turn. We want to hope that we can get, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to put, we want to make him use his energy. So this is what we want to do right now. So we're going to put a potion on him so he can't use his slash next turn. It sounds weird, but we don't want him to use that next turn. We don't want him to use Giovanni either. <clears throat> so that's the whole point of that. Okay. We need, we need to get like a few, we need, we really need like one more turn and we need to get, we really need to get Mel metal. We got a one in third, one in three chance of getting it next turn. Is he gonna go into Moltres? What's he gonna do? Back up, go into Moltres. I can see him backing up and going into Moltres right now. Or is he gonna kill that? Oh, he's got potions. Okay. Oh, he didn't do it. We use Koga because he decided not to commit. We put coughing in. Now he still has to do this. So he still is forced into doing this. I'm gonna drop this down on that. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it. He hasn't killed anything yet. And we still do this. And we're still back in his face again. And all we're doing is getting this thing down to where I can kill it. With If it gets to 130 HP, then we're happy. So after this turn, I can kill him. 140 is all I need if he's going to be poisoned. So what's he going to do? He's probably going to back up and go into Moltres, right? That only makes sense, right? And we're going to poison Moltres. But the thing about it is that this really can't one shot everything anymore because I can kill it now. He's already used one potion. Okay, so he got some good hits right there, but still not enough. Still not enough to make him happy with, you know, with everything, right? So I'm going to put this over here on Meltan because even if we die, we're still doing okay. 
Um, so I could technically kill Moltres right now, but I'm not. I mean, I, I could kill uh, what you call it right now, but I'm not. It's good that we got this out here too. So let's go ahead and uh, end my turn. We already got poison on Moltres. Everything's looking good. We got a one and um, we got a one in four chance of pulling my other Meltan now. And then we're kind of set on the Mel Metals. We're going to be doing 120 damage. The only thing about it is that Charizard. We got to do something about that. If he comes in with Charmander, I should be okay to like dispose of him. And we do have a Sabrina in this deck too. We kill one thing, we bring the other one out. So he has to think about that too. Okay, that was a good hit for us. So now, Mulch, then now this is like able to die. So we got this. This is what I'm gonna do now. This is the this is the deal now. I'm gonna go ahead and Koga. We wanna have a something that we can he hasn't killed anything yet, right? So now we use heavy impact. So now we got 1.2 point. If we end up getting like, he's gonna have to bring in Charizard now and he has to try to one shot everything, but he hasn't killed anything yet. And everything's only worth one point. He has to use his points here, which he can on Mel Metal. That's fine. I'm gonna put in Weezing after this um, and we're gonna start to hit him with some poison. And we only need two turns of poison, right? We need two points of poison and we got something to pivot into if he wants to kill us. So we go this. He can't put in this either because we'll kill it. And we're also putting all points on Mel Metal, so we're doing pretty good. And I can also get this out with one energy. And uh, like, he's not gonna do that though. But like next turn, he'll this after this turn he'll be at 40. The next turn is going to be at 30, which is killing shot with Giovanni in this. So if I was really smart, I would go ahead and use my X speed. So I'd have a one, two, three, four chance of getting this stuff. That would be really smart. So in case he has a red card, I have a high chance of getting my Sabrina or my Giovanni, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to back up. We're doing pretty good now because we also have a pivot with coughing. So if he puts that out, then we can just kill him. He's already used both his potions, I believe. He used one. He used one potion. He's only used one potion. He's probably about to get the other one right now. But having Sabrina is also really good for us. He has X speed. Oh, if he puts that in, he's just going to die next turn. Oh, no, he won't. <clears throat> I can still Sabrina him in, though, and poison him again, though. He can't, oh, unless he has Blaine. He could, if he kills me, then I kill him. He can't, he can't kill me with Blaine. He doesn't even have any energy right now. So I'm just gonna like bring him back in. I'm gonna Sabrina him in. And I'm gonna put Charizard back in. Cause I need Charizard in killing range, right? So we poison him again. Um. And that's all good. That's all fine. We only got one more card left. I sh I'm gonna go ahead and put Weezing on here just in case he has a, um, what's it called? If he does have a red card, cause this deck likes to run red card a lot. If he does, I'll be ready for him. Yeah, so now anything can be killed by my Mel Metal. So there we go. Now we're chilling. So what's he gonna go for? If he has a red card, we're gonna get all of our cards next turn regardless. So that's why I did that. We also don't care about Charmander either. We only need one more kill.
So he's kind of in check right now. He needs to back this Charizard up because it'll die next turn if he kills this. We just had it. This is this is what happens when you play with EX cards like this. That's all I can say. And anything he has dies, so it doesn't really matter. So he got rid of that. Flamethrower on this. Doesn't matter. He doesn't know that though. I didn't realize the last card I had was a damn Pokeball. Yeah, so. So we actually retreat going to Mel Metal. There we go, baby. Heavy impact. Let's go. Let's go. We saved those XPs, baby. <laughs> We had to save them. <laughs> we had to save them. If we didn't save them, it was going to be all over, dude. I haven't played Rivals, but I've just seen how busted Jeff is. Jeff is very busted in Rivals. He's extremely busted. Can I please get a Mel Metal? That would be nice. That would be... um. I don't know what I'm trying to say here, y'all. I'm not gonna do that right now. Cause we already got Mel Metal and we already got Meltan. There's no reason to um, use Professor Research right now. Cause all I was gonna do is give him a reason to red card us. Yeah, Iron Fist is pretty good too. I'm not gonna lie. I gotta keep practicing with them. Oh, what, what is this? A Geodude Starmie deck? Oh Lord. This might be good too, to be honest. Honestly, I might try that. That seems pretty good. Yeah, he does just spit people out of bounds. We want to try to get our Kogas and he doesn't have a reason to to like red card us. So we'll go ahead and do this. So he can't kill us next turn. He has to think about it. What he wants to do. I wish we had another wheezing. That would have been nice, but it's okay. Saving all my hourglasses till next year because that's when we get new cars. Hmm. Well, no, we get next card. We get new cards in a few. We get a mini set coming soon, like in a few days. Oh, he can't even attack me next turn. I didn't even realize that. I had no idea he can't even attack me next turn with that. That's interesting. He didn't have to do that either, by the way. That's what Christmas means to me, my love. Here we go. Then probably a Charizard promo. Wait, I don't know what it is. It's hard to get. It's it's not it's not a promo. We getting like a two set uh, other than the standard three. Yeah, we're getting a mini set. What's he putting in? Starmy. So here's the thing, buddy. We're still alive, so. This is not a bad deck that you guys run in here, by the way. I just don't be using X E X like that, but this is actually pretty good. I might try this. 
Won't he just retreat to get rid of poison? Yeah, but I still do a bit of damage to him though. There was, no, there was no reason for me not to do it. He's, he either does that or he stays in and he dies. The thing that's really gonna suck is that um, Golem next turn can kill us. Yeah, we go ahead and use heavy impact, kill this thing. He's gonna bring in this and he, we're gonna start trying to kill him. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna kill us. Nothing I can do about it. Cause even with that less damage, he's gonna do, he's gonna still be able to kill us. He's also killing himself too. Why even do that, dude? You could have put that in. Oh, I guess it didn't really matter. I don't hate this deck this dude's running though. Well, you know what? Maybe just give him extra energy because he knows we're about to like do this. And he just, he wants to just keep a bunch of energy on this thing because it needs to continue to attack. Cool thing about Starmie is that he doesn't use any energy to move forward and backwards. So all extra energy goes to Golem. That's pretty busted if you think about it. So I'm gonna use gas leak. Um. Okay. That's all I can do, really. I make showcases every now and then, gaming for life. I I just don't do it a ton. There's not a whole lot of a reason to do it unless you want to get those things. So he has potions. This I'm, this game is kind of over for us, man. Like real talk. We wanted to put that that poison on him, but yeah. <clears throat> he can also back up next turn too if he wanted to. He can back up this turn if he wanted to. He won't kill us though, but yeah. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do Sabrina. I would have liked to Koga out, but I really need to get a gas leak back on him. Cause he can't like get out, you know, so. And if I get my Mel Metal, then he can't attack us either right now. He's already used both his Brocks, I think, didn't he? Yeah, he used both his Brock, so he can keep getting it up, but he's gonna end up killing himself. And Starmie won't be able to kill my Mel Metal if I get it. But we got a one in four chance of getting it, so we might be able to do this. Yo, um, bro, man, welcome to the Loop Troop. Thanks for the follow. Because we'll kill, we'll kill Starmie before. Like, we, all we gotta do is kill this thing, really. Wow, they still didn't give me that. I should have Koga this out, but we only got one car left in this Mel Metal, so so we're kind of okay. So it doesn't matter. Even if he gets this out, well, that's the only problem. If, oh, if he backs this up, he loses. So he can't back it up. Never mind. If he gets a red card, that can be bad for us. But we should be able to win. He's in both his X speeds. I don't think he's gonna have enough energy to to get to to keep. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter. He's never gonna be able to get back up to that. 
So we kind of like just went. If he would, he he wouldn't realize this if he looked at my deck and was like, "Oh shit, oh shit, he can't like he can't do anything to me right now." I'm gonna kill this next turn, then I kill that next turn. So it doesn't really matter. If you looked and saw that I only had one card left, he'd realize I had my male metal coming up next. So, so yeah, now we just kill him with this, and it's over. And you also never want to leave a Starmie EX in, right? So, because it's worth two points. So, yeah, we still managed to beat him, but that was a sick-ass deck, man. That was a really cool deck. I like that deck. I like the way this guy's thinking. That was a really good... That was really good. The Misty, too, like, can help. You know, both Misty and Brock, that's a really good... Uh, I call it kind of like a Muddy Water deck because it's, you know, rock, and it's also water. I like that, though. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, maybe if you want to. I'm not gonna like force it. I'm not gonna choke it out of you. Why would I do that? That'd be mean. And then uh, I will, I will get in inorganic results. You know, I don't want that. But if you did like it, all I'm saying, you know, consider doing that. Helps your boy grow. Appreciate you, and hope you guys enjoy the next video I throw out too. And if you want some more stuff, got it over here for you, baby. All right, see you later. Peace.